Sweco's latest generation of vibratory round separators is the HX separator. The HX has many new features that make it safer, cleaner, and easier to use than other round separators. One of the most distinct features is the new ProGlide linear weight system. All adjustments to any separator must be performed after power to the machine has been shut off and locked out and the machine has completely stopped vibrating. This video will demonstrate how easy it is to adjust the ProGlide for force and lead angle changes. The weights on the ProGlide are moved in a linear path. Each change provides a proportional change to the vibration. If your machine has a skirt installed, to access the top weight system, you will need to remove the four bolts securing the top weight access panel on the skirt. This will grant you access to the lower table. Then, remove the weight system access panel on the bottom of the lower table to get access to the top weight arm of the ProGlide. The top weights primarily create vibration in the horizontal plane by adjusting the force. This weight arm has sets of slots that represent the force setting. To change the settings, raise the weight lock tab and move the weights until the tab aligns above the desired slot. Pull the weight plate towards you to make sure it is locked in place. To increase the horizontal vibrating force, pull the weights outward away from the motor. To decrease the horizontal vibrating force, push the weights inward towards the motor. When the desired setting is positioned, reinstall the weight system access panel and the skirt access panel. To access the ProGlide bottom weight system, remove the bottom motor weight access cover hardware and panel. The bottom weight placement will determine two factors, vertical force and lead angle. As with the top weight arm, the bottom weight arm has sets of slots that represent the force setting. The vertical force can be adjusted through the positioning of the bottom weights. The arm weights are secured to the slots with a removable lock tab. Raise the lock tab, move the weights, and lower them into the desired slot. Pull the weight plate towards you to make sure it is locked in place. To increase the vertical vibrating force, pull the weights outward away from the motor. To decrease the vertical vibrating force, push the weights inward towards the motor. Locking the weights into the slots of the carrier support plate at various degrees determines the lead angle. The lead angle is what controls the pattern of the material flow on the screen. With the ProGlide, it's never been easier to adjust the lead angle. To change the lead angle, reach in the lower weight panel and locate the carrier support plate and adjustable weights. The plate is slotted every 5 degrees and these degrees represent the lead angle setting. Push the weight arm weldment towards the center of the bottom carrier support plate. The lead angle weight key will leave its retaining notch and the entire weight arm will freely rotate. Rotate the weight arm weldment so the angle indicator is positioned over the appropriate lead angle. Secure the lead angle retainer by pulling it into the correct notch. Finally, reinstall the top, bottom, and skirt access panels before restarting your separator. If the amplitudes or material pattern are not optimal for your process, you may need to readjust the settings. Once your separator is performing optimally, be sure to record the new settings for future reference.